In Rockland, we have almost doubled our inventory of homes in one month. Hey guys, welcome to the Rockland, California market update. If you're looking for homes for sale in Rockland, California, this is a great place to start just to see where the market's at. So let's start by talking about what's going on or what homes are available in the Rockland market. We have 91 homes active, we have 45 that have sold, and we have 68 that are pending, currently pending. From August to September, we've actually gone from 78 homes that sold to 45, so it has decreased. Also, I think the most important thing is if you look at this time last year, we actually sold, we had 139 homes on the market, and this month we only have 91. That's a 65% decrease. So we have 65% less homes than we had this time last year. Now we'll continue to see a number of homes on the market go up because it's just that time of the year. Let's talk about price per square foot. Price per square foot comes in at $327. Now, this is the lowest price per square foot in five months. So just keep that in mind, totally normal. Again, time of the year, uh, as the cycle, as it gets into the winter time, uh, fall and winter time, you will see usually it go down a little bit. This is the second consecutive month that we've seen the average uh, list price versus sold price, price at 97%, meaning houses are just selling at 97% of what they were originally listed for. Uh, not cause for alarm, it's well within the range, uh, but also looking at the days on market, days on market jump up, jumped up four days. So along with the other stats, we are going to see some of those stats increase. Days on market should continue to go up through December. Now, as we look at the average sales price and average sold price, I don't really, this doesn't carry too much weight because there are so many different types of homes in Rockland. Uh, you have the luxury homes and you have the small entry level homes, uh, but the sold price has gone up two months in a row. So let's just continue to watch that. So what I've noticed the most, or my hot take, is the months of inventory. So the months of inventory from last month, it went up from 1.1 months of inventory, meaning it would take 1.1 months to run out of houses if we didn't list any other ones. It's now, it's two months now. So it's almost doubled in one month's time. So I'm curious to see, as we, as we get October's numbers, I'm curious to see if it doubles again or how much more inventory we may have. Now with interest rates high, with the weather changing, with holidays coming up, I'm not alarmed, but it's something we wanna watch. So if you're thinking about selling your house and you're looking at these stats and you're saying, hey, that doesn't look good for me to sell my house, keep in mind every single market and subdivision is completely different. So there are lots of different subdivisions in Rockland, lots of different types of homes. So if you're curious on how your home would stack up against the competition, just feel free to shoot me a call or a text and I'd love to answer any questions you have about your market because chances are if your house is in good condition, you're gonna sell for top dollar. If you wanna know what's going on in nearby cities, check out these two videos, Rockland and Roseville Market Updates.